everybody is different. So don't let somebody knock you for wanting to do something that you want to do. Listen, I'm getting real right now. Like, hey, hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl from Tour K, and I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to be showing you all how to start a YouTube channel. So I know this question, you know, everybody may have this question. I've gotten this question so many times over the years. As you know, I have been doing YouTube for how long? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, over seven years now. So it's been a while and I've gotten that question so much. So I decided to finally put something together and I've been, you know, taking notes over time, you know, of things that are very important when it comes to starting the channel. And like I said, I've been, I've been trying to help as many people as I can. Like I have friends that have started YouTube channels and they are really successful. So I'm so happy that, you know, I could actually help them start up their channel and you know just just you know hit the ground running you know what i'm saying because they're doing really good but i just want to help y'all too so i want to help y'all start a channel and i want to give you all the tips and tricks on you know where to begin and you know just to try to get your get your brain flowing a little bit you know just give you the top things that you need to actually start a channel so i have my notes here i'm going to just go you know, in order from just starting to actually creating your first video. So I may just end up doing another video, you know, like a part two, part three, you know, on different topics specifically. But right now I'm just gonna touch on all of the things that you need to actually start the channel. So, and just to get things, you know, hit the ground running and get things going. So don't forget to hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos and that subscribe button and that like button if you like videos on, you know, how to do certain things like start a YouTube channel. And if you would like for me to, you know, keep it going and just do, you know, more videos touching on different topics that I cover today. So if you're interested in watching, stay tuned. So I started my channel back in like 2013 or 14 and within my first year, like before I even hit my year mark, I had over a million views and I think I had over like 20,000, 30,000 subscribers around that range. So my channel grew fairly quickly and I wanted to give you all some tips on how to actually start because that was the hardest part for me. I probably would have started my channel long ago if I would have had these tips, you know, to help me get started you know what i'm saying because like i had i didn't know anyone with a youtube channel i didn't know you know what to do or just where to begin and there weren't any videos like this out on youtube so i wanted to you know create something that's that's real that's going to actually show you how to start and just so you can get to it start that channel so these are some of the things that i learned over time you know what i'm saying so i have a list compiled here so you know my gems I like to say so I'm so, gonna start tip number one you want to make sure you have your topic like what do you want to talk about what do you want to discuss on your channel whether it be hair makeup fitness categories are endless gaming there's so many categories here on YouTube that you can talk about so Pick your topic and that will get you started and help you actually create ideas on what type of videos you want to make and what you want to actually talk about. Tip number two is who is your audience? Figure out who your audience is or who you want your audience to be. For example, my audience is women. You know, sometimes I have men. Some men come on my channel and watch as well, but I am targeting most of my videos towards women. So hair, makeup you know, fashion, nails, all of that stuff is, is mainly like a women category. But like I said, men dibble and dabble in that category as well. So, you know, men and women could be looking at beauty, hair, makeup, men have curly hair too. So, you know, you just never know who's watching, but that is really my target audience for the most part. So I feel like even with my analytics, I see that majority of women are watching my channel. So that is my audience. So figure out who you want your audience to be. You want to make sure you cater to them and see what they actually like. So for example, if you start a channel and you're doing fitness, you want to do workout videos. Your audience may love workout videos, but they may also like healthy eating videos or what I eat in a day videos, videos like that 
which are in the same like health category. So that audience is looking for videos like that, like videos that will complement each other. So it gives you more ideas too on like what type of videos to do to cater to the audience that you're attracting or you want to attract. So tip number three is equipment. You wanna make sure you have all of the proper equipment to start your channel. You don't have to have the most expensive camera or the most brightest ring light. I would start off with the basics just to get a feel for things. You need a camera, of course, or you can use your phone. I know a lot of people who use their phone, the camera phone, to record and do their videos. You can also do voiceovers on your phone as well. So they have the um, voice record app or whatever, and you can go in and do your voiceovers. I do my voiceovers still on my phone. So camera is the number one thing. You want to get a light. You can also like go get one of those lights from like, Walmart or Amazon that have they have like the branches I think they call them like tree lights so you can get one of those and you know make sure they're all facing you so the light will be shining towards your face I like to use soft boxes and ring lights so I have a ring light right in front of me right now and I also use soft boxes on the sides and I also have a vanity so sometimes I'll use my vanity light as well so Make sure you get the white lights, not those yellow looking lights. So you want to make sure you get the right bulbs. Even if you do get that like tree lamp or whatever, you can get two of those and like put them on each side. That will work also. You just want to make sure you have lighting coming from every angle so you, you get good quality videos and you make sure get you some good old light and you'll be in the game honey so i also have like a tripod like my ring light my ring light is on a tripod and i love to use a um bendy like like a i literally got this thing from the 99 cent store it's for my phone but it's only when i'm like making tiktoks and things like that I use that particular phone stand. Everything is bendable, so it has the the it has the place for you to put your phone, and then everything bends. So you can bend it around things, and I literally have it wrapped around the top of my ring light, and it's just like like this, where the phone will go inside, and it's just facing me. So I use that when I'm doing my TikToks and stuff like that, or if I'm recording something on my phone, or even live. If I go live, I'll do that as well. And I have my camera sitting right behind my ring light, like in the middle. I have it on the same stand, and everything is just, you know, nice and put together. So I have lighting coming from this side, this side, and the middle. So it's giving me great lighting, and it looks great on camera. So that is equipment. You also want to make sure you have a tripod. Like I said, I have, what, like three tripods. I have a smaller one that wraps around stuff, and I'll list all of those items below so you can shop those items and pick out which one you want. I have one that extends, and it is shorter, and it goes like... I think it goes like this high it goes really high so you can you know extend it and you know change the levels if you're like say I'm sitting down if I get a higher chair if I have to bring it up the tripod will just move up you just extend it so you definitely want to get you a good tripod you also need extra batteries if you're going to be using a camera I, right now I'm using my Canon 5D. I also have a Canon 80D and I also have a Sony. So I used to record with the 80D. I love the 5D now, like it's my best friend. Like I, all I had to do was get a new memory card and I, cause I've had the 5D for years. Like all I had to do was get the memory card and start actually using the correct memory card. And my friend, she was like, girl, you gotta start using your 5D, my homegirl Ariel. And I was like, you're right, I need to start because she has it also. So she came to visit not too long ago and she took some amazing pictures of me on her 5D. I'm like, girl, I'm about to start using my 5D. So she came over and, you know, changed the settings on my camera and everything. So thank you, girl. Like, thank you. So I've been using it ever since. Make sure you have extra batteries if you have a professional camera because the last thing you want is to be recording and then your battery die. You have to sit there and wait an hour or so for it to charge. I like to keep them all charged just so I'm good to go. Just in case I forget to charge one, I always have a backup. So especially when I'm traveling too. It's great for traveling when you're recording stuff and you're out for all day trying to capture everything. You don't want your camera to go dead. That's the worst thing that can happen. So get you some extra batteries, at least one, so you can have one charging while the other one is being used. So once you have all of your equipment, the next step is creating your video ideas. 
you're ready to start recording so now it's time for you to actually get to it so get your video ideas together depending on what topic you want to talk about and what audience you want to cater to and you know go from there I like to create like a video list and I literally have it in my phone of different video ideas that I have you know thought about over time and when I think I don't have anything to record or like I'm just like lost like what should I record today I don't know I go right to that list honey and it's always something on there that just triggers my brain like okay let's do this all right and it gets me going so a video list a video idea list will definitely get you going which brings me to tip number five which is creating a schedule so you definitely want to get your schedule together decide on when you want to record what day you want to record what day you want to edit what day you want to post you want to make sure you do that because when i first started my channel i actually did my first video it was a curl hawk video on my natural curl hawk and i posted it i was so hyped but it took me so long to edit that video i'm like okay i'm finally ready to post my first video and i just i feel like i procrastinated a little bit and i could have just posted it but I wanted everything to be perfect like I wanted my channel art to be ready and everything like that so videos I finally ended up posting it and from there I actually had other videos recorded as well and I began editing those just to create a schedule I literally had all of my videos scheduled I had like what weeks of videos already on YouTube but they were private and scheduled to post whenever I wanted them to. You want to make sure you have content pre-recorded, pre-edited and it just helps you. It helps you get things going and it helps you stay consistent. When I transferred to my university I was on and popping with my YouTube. My channel was growing. Everything was good but I joined a sorority so that kind of pushed me back a little bit. Don't get me wrong I love my sorority but I definitely wish I could have like you know been posting during that time but I was juggling school juggling that juggling a lot of other things work and you know family things and it was just a lot so I pushed my YouTube back like I put my YouTube on the back burner and I should have never done that and I used to always think like darn I wish I had time to record I wish I had time to do this do that and it kind of set me back a little bit like I said I did get over a million views and over like 20 to 30 thousand subscribers in less than a year but if I would have kept going my channel would be so much bigger than it is now but hey you live life with no regrets I truly believe that everything happens for a reason so I learned from that experience and I know now to stay consistent so that's why you see me posting every week and I'm, I'm gonna get my channel back on track so that's what I'm working on now and it's working so I have seen a big difference from posting every week like I've been doing the past few months and my channel is slowly progressing and I'm really proud of that so don't be like me when I was in college and you know Put your channel on the background, especially if it's something you really want to do. You want to make it a priority, and I wish I would have done that. Yep. So, so the next step is creating your channel. So you want to start off by creating a Gmail account. You have to have like a Gmail account to actually create a YouTube channel. So create that channel. Go ahead and start looking at the things that you need to customize to make it you. Because it's kind of like, you know, you get in a new house. You're you're making it you you want to make your channel you you want to make it inviting you want to create everything that you need you know to welcome your audience in and make them want to stay you know so that brings me to the next step which is actually starting to create and customize your channel art when it comes to channel art you have a banner you have a picture you can add you want to make sure you do that and when you do that, you want to go to like websites like PicMonkey or Canva. Those are my top two. I love PicMonkey, but they changed it now and you have to pay a subscription fee. But I mean, it's very beneficial. But like I said, I used to love it when it was free. But since it's not anymore, I use Canva. I love Canva. I edit stuff on my phone. That brings me to my next step, which is actually start filming. Get it out the way, test your quality, get that awkwardness out the way because I know sometimes it may feel weird talking to a camera when no one else is in the room and it just it just feels kind of awkward sometimes. I definitely went through that awkward phase. And then the judgment of others too. Like you want to brush that to the side. Don't worry about what other people have to say about you starting a channel because I never told a lot of people that I wanted to start a channel. But the very few people that I did tell, some of them were like, oh, okay. Like just felt like they didn't believe in me or 
you know, think that I was capable of starting a channel and succeeding. I don't know why, but hey, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But I was just like, you know, like it was just weird. But some people feel that way just because they can't do it themselves. So if they feel like, oh, you're crazy for wanting to talk to a camera, this and this and this, they just don't have the courage to do it. So, or they may not have the desire to do it, but everybody is different. So don't let somebody knock you for wanting to do something that you want to do. Listen, I'm getting real right now, like head shaking and everything. I'm serious. So that is that. Actually, get the awkward stage out of the way and actually start recording. So I'm, listen, don't let nobody tell you, you cannot start a YouTube channel and succeed. Believe in yourself, have faith, and God will do the rest, okay? So my ninth step is to remind you to push your content. You want to make sure you... Tell your audience, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, comment down below for this and this and this and, you know, whatever it may be. You may ask them a question. Hey, answer this below in the comments just to get your engagement going. You want to know what your audience thinks as well. So you want to make sure you're telling them to comment, telling them to share, telling them to like, telling them to subscribe and telling them to hit that bell to be notified when you post new videos. So I literally have that down packed. I say that in every video just because you want to remind people because sometimes people forget. So my next step is editing. So after you have your video recorded, you want to make sure you edit it. You have to edit it really, unless you're just sitting here like a robot playing it from point A to point B, play by play, and you have not made any mistakes, then you don't need to edit. But nine times out of 10, you definitely are going to need to edit. It's some things that you may say that don't even need to be put in the video that you can just easily cut out with editing and people will never know. So editing is very important. They have so many different editing softwares, but the top three are Windows Movie Maker if you have a Windows computer. If you have a MacBook computer, you can use iMovie, which is free, or you can go to the more advanced route, which is Final Cut Pro. But Final Cut Pro is a bit pricey for beginners, in my opinion. So if you're just starting off, I definitely recommend using iMovie or Windows Movie Maker. They all do the same thing. And, you know, Final Cut Pro is, like I said, a, more, a little bit more advanced. They have plugins for it. You can do, you know, some extra things like with transitions and stuff like that. But you can still get the job done with iMovie. And iMovie is completely free on all Mac products. They even have it on your iPhone, I think, or your iPad. So, yes, definitely, you definitely want to do that. And there are so many videos on how to actually edit and you know get the get the hang of actually using the particular software that you're going to be using so do your research and that'll be that so i may end up doing another video on like what i like to use i use final cut pro now but i have used imovie so i'm not knocking it honey it works and it gets the job done so iMovie is really good and Windows Movie Maker and like I said Final Cut Pro but they have so many other editing software they even have apps that you can edit on your phone like say you record your video on your phone you can use different apps to edit your video like just search video editing apps and it will come up so get that video edited and you only have one real step after that that brings me to my next step make your thumbnails so, so you want to make a thumbnail for every one of your videos it just brings the audience in they'll see it on the side and they're like okay i might want to click on that make it something that they want to click on you want to make it clean make it nice and you don't want to put too much on it make it so where they can actually see what's going on in the thumbnail to make them want to actually click on it and watch your video so it's very important it's kind of like judging a book by its cover that is your cover you know, so people are going to judge that and think, oh, if your thumbnail is trash or you don't even have a thumbnail, I'm not watching this. Like some people won't even watch it. So make sure your thumbnail is intriguing and, you know, it's making people want to actually click on it to watch the video. And you can use PicMonkey, Canva, any other editing app. Those are my top two. So you can use those apps for editing your thumbnails as well. So the next step is uploading. You want to make sure you have everything together. You want to have your description box together as well before you post. 
if you're able to monetize, which you're just starting, so you're probably not able to monetize yet, but, but that's okay. You'll get there. So don't worry. So eventually you'll be able to go in and add ads, you know, just so you can actually make money. So that's when the money comes in, you know, once people actually start watching your videos and you get so many views and so many subscribers and then, you know, you can go from there. So don't worry, you'll get there, but you don't have to worry about that right now. That's one less thing you have to worry about. So we're just focusing on this upload. You have to get that video out there so the world can see it. So like I said, make sure that description box is very informative. You want to include all the information that you think people might ask in the description box. I've been working on that myself, so sometimes you may forget things. So some people may ask it in the comments, which is fine. But if you get a massive amount of the same question, you want to make sure you go in and just add it to your description box just to make it easier for people. And, you know, they'll see the comments as well, but sometimes people don't always read the comments. So I would also recommend putting all of your social media platforms so people can find you on other platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, all of that, wherever you want people to follow you, definitely put that in your description box as well. And if you want to include any links or anything like that, you can actually go to bit.ly. It's actually a link shortener. So it shortens up your links if it's like a really long link and it customizes it. You can make it whatever you want it to say if it's available and you can post that in your description box as well. And you can actually go and see how many people are clicking on the link that you shortened, that you created. So it actually helps like when you're promoting something, you can actually see how much influence you have and see how many people are actually clicking on the link you create. So get that description box together. I have a little brief description about the video and you know, go from there. So you wanna get that thumbnail uploaded as well and then you're ready to post your video. I also recommend doing a few tags about your video. Whatever your video is about, do a tag about it. They have the hashtags now so you can put a few hashtags there and your video will show up on that category, based on that category. So upload that video, you are ready to go. And that brings me to my next step, which is promoting yourself and actually engaging with your audience. So you wanna make sure you reply to your comments, and I've been working on that too, making sure I reply to everybody, everybody that has questions or you know leave a nice comment, even negative comments. I mean, sometimes I just ignore those. You can even just block them. Just get them out of here, honey, if you don't want that negative energy. Or you can respond to them nicely and just call it a day and make them feel crazy for even leaving a mean comment in the first place. So you have to kill them with kindness sometimes or just kill them with silence also. <laughs> so if you just don't want to say anything, you don't have to. You can just delete the comment and call it a day. But for anybody who leaves nice comments or have any questions, you want to make sure you respond and you actually engage with your audience. You want to make them feel like your channel is their new home and it also makes them want to subscribe and be a part of your YouTube family. You want to make sure you promote your channel on all platforms. There's always a link if you want to post, if you want to copy the link to your video, and you can get the engagement going on those other platforms as well, which will lead them back to your YouTube if they haven't seen it. So that's really great. I've I've done that when I first started my channel. I definitely used to shoot my links in different groups and stuff like that and on my different platforms, and it definitely helped with my engagement. So that brings me to my last tip, which is stay consistent. You definitely want to make sure you stay motivated during the process. I know it can be hard if your channel is not growing as fast as you may want it to, but don't let that bring you down. It's not the end of the world. It's YouTube. You just never know. Sometimes some things can be hit or miss. You just never know. One of my videos literally went viral. It was on BuzzFeed and I just I just didn't know. I, I didn't know my channel was going to start like blowing up like how it did. And I was just shocked. I, it was just it was a it was a makeup video. And I'm just like, wow, this is so crazy. Like it got me on the news, everything. And it was just crazy. You just literally never know what video is going to pop. You know what I'm saying? So just just have faith, be motivated, have faith and don't I don't want to say don't pay too much attention to it, but don't don't really pay too much attention to the number. Work on your quality and be consistent and you'll win in the end, I promise. So you definitely want to make sure you, you know, have that faith. Have that faith, honey. Have faith in yourself and manifest, you know. So God is always, God is always there. Like I pray so many times about, you know, 
actually being able to help people and figure out what I actually wanted to do when it came to like my channel and stuff like that. So that's why I'm here. I'm creating this video. I'm like, listen, I want to help other people. Like, why not? Why not? It's not hurting me. It's not taking money from my pockets or anything like that. It's not hurting me at all to help the next person actually start. So many people have asked me like how to start a channel and I have given them so many tips and tricks. So I definitely wanted to come on here and give them to you all as well. So post, 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 be creative, be yourself and you'll win. You'll win. I promise you. So you definitely want to be consistent. That's my last tip. And I'm going to end it with that in the end. So thank you all so much for watching. I will probably be doing like a part two, part three, whatever. If y'all like this video, comment down below and let me know. And thank you. Thank you all again. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and that bell to be notified when I post new videos. So I will see you all later. Bye.